Hi, welcome you all for clustering based anomaly detection session. The key assumption is here the normal data points in the given data set belongs to a, a large and dense clusters. For example, so this cluster is a cl uh, cluster 1, cluster 2, uh, cluster 3, cluster 4, cluster 5 uh, here which is having 3 data points, cluster 6, cluster 7, uh, single data point, cluster 8, single data point. So, the normal clusters will have a more number of data points and also dense clusters. So, the dense clusters will have normal data points while anomalies will have uh, uh, single data points. So you look at that, this is a, sing, a small cluster. The small cluster uh, will be called anomalies and also single data point also is called anomaly. That means the uh, data point which is not belonging to any of the cluster that is called anomaly and also if it the cluster is having very so few data points for example here only three data points so this is also called anomalies so here the category of uh, uh, anomalies based upon the labels semi-supervised um, labels and unsupervised method in the semi-supervised the normal data points will have the labels and we can define the behavior of the normal data points by using the label and if uh, when we are uh, getting the new uh, test data point at that time the test data point will be explored by our model our algorithm at that time its label is if not found in the given data set if it is not available the label is not available then that is called anomaly if label is matching with the a given data set labels then that will be normal data point in unsupervised method post processing is needed after a clustering step to determine the size of the clusters uh, here we will use the distance metric uh, to measure the distance between two clusters if any data point that is not available inside the any other cluster then that is called anomaly data point anomalies can be detected by using various clustering methods here the data points that do not fit into the any cluster is called residuals of cluster so that will be called anomaly here these data points are not belonging to any of the cluster so these data points are called um, anomalies in the given data set and small clusters also considered as your anomalies for example this is a uh, this is having only three data points this is very small cluster that is also anomalies and low density clusters are local anomalies here the low density in the sense the data point with one or two or three so these are all called low density data sets that is also called anomalies in the given data set so which which pattern will be varying from the normal data points patterns for detecting the anomalies from a given data set by using the clustering approach uh, we have to calculate the distance between the given new data point and its centroid then if any data point is close to the centroid then that will be added into that cluster otherwise if any data point which is far away from this centroid if it is the centroid if it is far away from the centroid then that will be uh, called a uh, um, uh, outlier or anomalies from the given data set to improve the clustering uh, size we have to use the distance metric for every iteration by calculating the new centroid for each and every cluster uh, that uh, clusters given in the data set here anomaly can be detected by using the k means clustering approach here initially we have to define the k number of groups or k number of clusters uh, for uh, defining the number of uh, groups for given data set so here k in the sense cluster 1 cluster 2 k number of clusters for each training data point x we have to compute the Euclidean distance uh, that uh, distance between the given data point to the centroid then find the cluster centroid that is closest to the data point x then if it is close to that particular cluster then we can assign that data point x into the 
closest centroid CQ. Then after performing that uh, uh, merging of uh, new data points with the cluster, we have to update the centroid for this new clusters. So again, we have to repeat the step two until centroids of the cluster are uh, becoming uh, stable. That means number of cluster centers should not be changed or number of data points should not be changed in the uh, uh, each and every clusters that that uh, criteria is called convergence suppose if i am having the number of data points here so here centroid also should not be changed and a number of data points available in the uh, cluster also should not be changed so that is called convergence criteria for each test the test data point y when it is coming into our model we have to compute the euclidean distance suppose if i am having the uh, three clusters here like this then when i am getting the new data point y so when it is coming to here here the uh, cluster centers are there so it will calculate the uh, voice data uh, data points distance from each and every cluster centroids then whichever is close to this data point y then that y will be added into that respective cluster so here if it is not belonging to any uh, this pattern any of this cluster pattern then it will be called uh, anomaly so that will be uh, available as a uh, abnormal behavior or anomaly in the given data sets. So this is the way to find out the uh, uh, anomalies by using clustering approach. Here we have taken uh, two clusters which is uh, uh, done here. So here the A is the cluster center initially. Here D is the cluster center and this one is one cluster center. So here uh, we have to identify the data points to form the cluster by using this uh, centroids. So when you are uh, applying the relative distance to each and every data point, these data points are coming in one, one cluster and uh, this one is coming under one cluster and this one is coming in one cluster. So here it is the dense cluster. This is also dense cluster, but this one is only one data point available. So it is called anomaly in the given data set. So like this, we can apply the clustering approach uh, to identify the abnormal data points or anomalies given in the data set. So this, uh, this can be used in image segmentation application um, uh, for finding the abnormal uh, cells and abnormal pixels in the given uh, uh, images. Thanks for watching.